Biosecurity is a program designed to prevent transmission of infectious diseases into a healthy bird population. It encompasses all measures to prevent or reduce the spread of pathogens from entering the flock in order to keep the birds healthy and also limit the transmission of pathogens to the surrounding environment. Biosecurity assumes significance in the health management of poultry. Biosecurity in a broader sense includes isolation, traffic control, sanitation, vaccination, serological monitoring of diseases and other intrinsic factors which aids in the entry and control the pathogens in and around the farm. Biosecurity can be broadly divided into three different tiers or levels the conceptual, the structural and operational biosecurity. The conceptual biosecurity is the primary level of biosecurity mostly deals with location of poultry farms, distance from other farms, live bird markets and slaughterhouses, location of nearby households, limiting common use of vehicles, limiting access to personnel not involved in farm operations at farm boundary and susceptibility of the flock by migratory birds. It is best to build a poultry house in an isolated area at least 2 to 3 kilometers away from nearest poultry or livestock farm and major roadways. Adequate distance between sheds and other facilities such as feed mills, hatcheries and composting units should be provided. A structural biosecurity is the secondary level of biosecurity deals with physical factors namely farm layout, perimeter fencing of farm, location of changing room facility and presence of shower facilities for workers, safe sheds and rodent proofing. Outer environment of shed, rearing systems, air filtration systems, drainage, concrete stage with suitable water for disinfection or sanitation of vehicles at gate level, good roads within the farm for movement of vehicles, utensils and equipments, feed delivery and storage section separated from live bird area to prevent contamination measures for litter or waste disposal, management of dead birds or sick birds, on-farm necropsy, residence for farm workers within premises etc. need to be taken care of. Operational biosecurity or procedural biosecurity pertains to routine procedures to prevent disease introduction and spread of pathogens within the farm. Bio-exclusion relies on external biosecurity practices while biocontainment relies on preventing the spread of diseases within a farm. With regard to operational biosecurity, source of feed, drinking water and tricks measures for vehicles movement like speed breakers, vehicle dips, earmarked area for cleaning of vehicles, washing or sanitizing hands, special measures for visitors like taking a shower, changing footwear and personal clothing with farm dedicated ones at farm gate, cleaning and disinfection of farm premises and farm equipment at entry point are absolutely necessary. The operational cost of biosecurity is usually low to medium and there is a high benefit cost ratio. The managerial factors that are to be adopted to reduce the spread of diseases and limit the stress to the birds are 
isolation. It is not advisable to rear birds of different age groups in the same shed or house. In the case of organized poultry farms, all-in, all-out system may be practiced to the extent possible. Litter or manure management Wet litter is a potential source of disease transmission in poultry farms and hence proper litter maintenance and disposal is a must. Quality Chicks Ensure that chicks are received from a reputed hatchery where adequate preventive care is taken for breeder birds to guard against mycoplasmosis, salmonellosis and infectious bursal disease. Proper Nutrition A good balanced feed prepared according to nutrient requirements will ensure proper health and good immune status in birds. Addition of cochidiostats and vitamin and mineral supplements are essential. Water Quality Both the microbial and chemical quality of the water need to be tested in poultry farms. Chlorination is the best and cheapest method to get rid of microorganisms. 5 to 8 grams of bleaching powder with about 35% available chlorine should be added to 1000 liters of drinking water to maintain a chlorine level of 1 to 2 ppm at delivery. Iodophores containing 1.6% available iodine are also used as water sanitizers at the same dosage level. Dead bird disposal It is essential to eliminate ailing birds from the flock and all poultry carcasses should be removed from the sheds as soon as possible. There are many methods for the efficient disposal of carcasses such as burying, pit disposal, incineration, septic tank disposal or composting. Disposal of poultry farm manure. After the pen is emptied, deep litter and caged layer droppings should be removed to a field far from the poultry shed and spread to dry in the sun. Disinfection Disinfection is the process of destroying pathogenic microorganisms. Phenol, Cresol, Chlorine compounds and iodophores can be used for disinfecting surfaces and egg room, feeders, drinkers, buildings and footwear liquid formalin at 5% level or formaldehyde gas by fumigation serve as an effective disinfectant. Rodent Control Remove piles of unused equipment and empty gunny bags as they serve as breeding places for rats, mice and squirrels. Remove spilled feed daily and store feed in well-ventilated, rodent-proof rooms. Use traps in the initial stages and later rodenticides. Insect Control Avoid stagnation of water in and around the farm premises. Provision of proper drainage facilities is essential. Use of insecticide sprays or dusting at required intervals is needed. Veterinary Treatment Consultation of veterinarians to be done only in the event of problems. Prophylactic chemotherapy to apparently healthy birds. Measures for sick and dead birds may also be thought of. A standard operating protocol, SOP, on biosecurity in poultry farms has to be developed through focused group discussions involving all the stakeholders namely poultry farmers, academicians, field veterinarians, input dealers and traders. The microbiological intervention 
to assess the extent of biosecurity measures in selected poultry farms is by collecting samples like swabs, feed, water and litter. Biosecurity is therefore one of the integral part of farm operations and regular monitoring and assessment of various biosecurity measures in a poultry farm is crucial for a successful outcome. Thank you.